So today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 Telegram apps that I'm currently farming. And this will not include things that are very close to release. As some of you that have been paying attention to my YouTube channel and obviously my Telegram channels know that we have a lot of releases happening on this end of September. We got Hamster Combat happening on the 26th. Tomorrow, or was it today, Rocky Rapid is releasing, X Empire is ending its farming phase on the 30th, and then we have Major releasing on the first week of October. So there's a lot of launches happening in the upcoming days from a lot of the bigger Telegram apps right now, and it may be that a lot of these users will flow into new apps or they will keep farming on Season 2, which usually never is bigger than Season 1 for many various reasons which we don't need to address in this video so let's kind of get into the top 10 list which I'm gonna be talking as always go check out the airdrop recon telegram channel a lot of updates here and we're doing daily recaps and talks about the news and the latest airdrops that you can basically farm in telegram and outside of telegram we are also going to be using an Android emulator in this video as some of you already have witnessed I believe like 5% of Telegram user base are using desktop like I am when I'm on PC. So there are a lot of these AirDrop apps which only work on mobile and a lot of people don't like farming on mobile. That's maybe this older generation like me. And there are two different uh, Android emulators which I recommend using. One is Nox Player. These are totally free. And another one is called Bluestack. So I'm going to be using Nox in this video to basically showcase um, some of these applications which I can't open on desktop because filming on phone, I just, <laughs> I hate the process. So let's get into the actual Nox uh, emulator over here. And I'm going to be putting on search on the first one, which I'm going to be talking about, which is one of the bigger narratives of exchanges. So exchanges are obviously huge uh, player in this space. And that is why I am very invested in farming their respective tokens for obvious reasons. Since they already have user base, CX is not like a tier one or tier two exchange, but the app itself has already 2 million users. So they have been growing pretty nicely. There are a lot of simple things you can do. Currently, there's some problems on this um, emulator, running this on emulator. Uh, I have currently a glitch going on, not able to run it on desktop, but I haven't tried it on my phone. So this problem that you're seeing or some of the problems you will be seeing on this video are just fundamentally things that are native to the problems of the emulator. And it's a pretty simple uh, system. Just keep leveling up these different upgrades. A lot of these apps are using the very same models and it's very nice. It's very straightforward and simple. And there are obviously a lot of tasks. They do have a lot of partnerships going on. I had a partnership with them. Uh, there's things, you know, you can also even join the squad. Currently, I have apparently quite a lot of people under me. I don't know if this is just a pool or the thing that I'm going. And yeah, and there's a conversion tab. So you're able to convert these two different coins. This, this one is probably the meme coin they're going to be launching. And these are in-game application things. I don't know if it's really wise to convert as of right now. But let's jump into some of the other offer links that we have here on the list. Starting off with um, the sponsored segment of this video, Asset Mart. And this is a pretty new one. So they have been up for, I believe, 12 days. And it's good to have one entry on the list that is super early right now. So we have the opportunity to kind of jump in and be part of something that's fundamentally not like super far on their progress. And this is a pretty simple clicker app. There are some couple of upgrade systems also in place. So you can upgrade, you know, basic things. This is kind of like an influencer themed. There's a couple of watching ads. There's daily rewards also, which you can claim. These are kind of important on some of the applications. Some of the multipliers for seven days are pretty insane. So make sure you're going to be looking into these daily rewards on a lot of these applications you're going to be using. And they here got some other tasks here with a lot of other partners that they have done. There is obviously a friend referral system you can also join into. And then there is also the way uh, aired up things. Make sure to connect your wallet here as well once you're done 
uh, with the initial thing and then they have this uh, fine two same ones this is you know kind of nice i haven't seen this one on other things and they have an auto merge opportunity which you can basically buy in with ton and i'm seeing a lot more applications doing these booster things whatever they are good for the customer acquisition or um, I mean, make a revenue versus like actually good for the user remains to be seen, but 0.05 ton is not exactly like millions of dollars. So it's, that's not too bad of a price. And then let's move on. We have another game fee based uh, drop. We got Kuroro Ranch. We have talked about Kuroro, well, quite many times. Let me put down the sounds effects off. So a lot of these have annoying sounds. And it's a pretty simple thing. You farm out these mine things with your energy. And when you have farmed out these crystals, you keep feeding these crystals to your pet and the pet will keep leveling up and it will increase how many hours or points you're gonna be getting hour. There's this energy ball thing. I think this was not there the last time we talked about this application, but Kuro is kind of something of a game fee project that I've been quite invested now as I've shielded many times and played a lot of the games. I hopefully it really pays out because as I said, I put out quite a lot of time and effort into a lot of their games, um, including this one. And there are a couple of, you know, simple stuff like there's a claim buttons, which are, you know, you get a multiplier here um, by every day. There's obviously similar upgrade system as you can see on other applications, which you should definitely keep leveraging. Obviously you can invite friends to the actual program as well, which you're gonna be getting extra shards. And then there's a bunch of different quests on TikTok and Discord and all types of things. The thing, reason I'm really bullish on this is just because they already have an existing game which has mechanics and they are like already very integrated with a lot of different things in the space. So I kind of like that there's already existing user base which came before this, uh, you know, telegram farming craze that started. But let's move on. Next up, we have OKX Racer, and this is by KuCoin. Sorry, <laughs> it is by OKX. And they have this simple thing where you basically bet on will the price of Bitcoin go up or down? This is the main, main task over here. Uh, they also have a fundamental leaderboard here and a lot of different tasks that you can do. OKX obviously is a big exchange. They have become bigger and bigger. I think I consider them like top five right now in terms of like brand recognition. That's my opinion, not based on any real statistics. And I think when we have official exchange dropping out their meme coin, that means obviously that one, the meme coin is gonna be listed on their exchange, which is a non one bullish uh, signal. And then the, obviously there is the factor that there's kind of liquidity in place and all of these, you know, necessarily partnerships already in place uh, to basically get started. But there's obviously the risk also that, oh, we're not gonna be doing any type of release whatsoever for a meme coin because there is not exactly a word about an airdrop. So it might give USDT or other type of reward. We, we don't really know. So that's kind of one of the, not a silver lining, but a black lining, if that's a word, uh, with these exchange-based uh, Telegram drops. Then we have another Telegram-based drop. We have X KuCoin. Uh, this one I'm more bullish on, and some of the lot of same logic basically applies into this one. Uh, KuCoin is obviously huge exchange, so their meme coin would be very massive if it actually were to launch. It's a very simplistic application. Uh, currently, they have this invite contest going on. So if you invite more than eight people, I guess you're going to be getting this Wukong skin. And currently, I have this Katizen uh, skin and obtained. There's not really much features here inside this application. There's like referral things and <laughs> there's a wallet and that's it. That's everything that there basically is. You need to have the KuCoin application also uh, to basically do the necessary wallet registration. So that's a thing that kind of, well, it's a good anti cyber mechanism. And also, I guess it's driving more value to the Google platform. Moving on, we have another very exciting one. This one is called, um, no, not this one. And then we have Yoom Party. And the reason why I'm bullish on this one is because this is actually from the developer. There's actually a person that worked at Fortnite and a COO 
of Candy Crush. So we have a lot of like big gaming veterans behind this game. And you can definitely see that on the design and kind of the way the game functions is different from the others that I've seen. There is an upgrading system over here and there's, you know, basic earning things, one-time tasks, and there's this basic, uh, you know, thing, there's instant refills that you can also uh, levy inside. And obviously you have your referral program here. And then there's rewards app, which I believe these are just, uh, yeah. So interesting, you can win even USDT. That's pretty, that's pretty interesting. So people who are looking for big bucks, this might be another uh, interesting entry. But given out that there's industry veterans behind it, it's kind of bullish because when you have those types of contacts, you can scale the game very, very far. And then we have the game that I actually accidentally closed on the of the stream. We have the Egg Drop. And the Egg Drop is by Gumball Games. which is another prominent airdrop which we have talked about uh, quite a lot in the last days or so, well, last months or so. And because it, it was something that a lot of people were farming, I didn't get the Gumball uh, airdrop. It was very tedious and very long. Uh, aired up campaign so I didn't really participate on it and didn't get an allocation but I bet some of the people that were participating on it did actually get an allocation and it's um you know actually pretty nice looking um, app you know it's not a clone of others because you're going to be seeing a lot of clones and you got to pay, pay attention what looks unique and what looks brand new concept and idea the new ideas have a lot more potential to be uh, greater and better uh, than the other ones. And there's a lot of quests, a lot of different things you can do. They got this pre-mint going on for this NFT collection. I don't know if that's going to be any worth. And you have the staking opportunity here for a launch pool. And apparently there was already a one launch pool and there's going to be more of these. So I guess they're going to be launching more uh, forms of tokens. And that's going to be interesting. I'm not going to lie in having the meme coin that you can uh, get other meme coins for can be a profitable enterprise if done well. And then there's the shopping feature, which allows you to get all types of different things. So this is another one that could be doing rather well. They have a lot of users on this application. And now we're gonna be opening back again, the emulator as the following three cannot be run on desktop. So let me close up this and open up our first entry on the list, which is called Baby Doge. Baby Doge Boss, and this is something that I joined very, very recently. And the reason why is because this is actually Binance backed. So this is meaning that I think Binance Labs was behind this, and I think it's very safe to assume that they are gonna be listing this one eventually on Binance, and that's always gonna be a very good signal. This is a basic clicker here and you know your the emulators are not perfect by the way guys you just have to play a bit around with the scrolling system because it's kind of kind of autistic how it works how do i actually scroll back yeah so i i can't even like first world problems i tell you man first world problems but you can always i have luckily opened the application there's basic apps tasks here as you can see on other things they seem to have a lot more than others and then there's obviously a rent system and some type of rating system. So there's more doshes over here. I guess this is based on how much you have farmed. That's kind of nice. So I'm on the first level right now. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. Not much to talk about. It's Binance, just ape in guys. And then we have gems. And this is another one that comes from leg legacy game developers. Uh, this one actually has a per person that was part of creating Farmville. So I, I believe the CEO or the CEO are part of this and already like bugging out. Let me try to open this up again, closing it and opening it. I was really hoping that this would work, but apparently I'm not able to even scroll down on this application. It's a bit different from the other ones, but yes, I said Farmville and also Zynga. Uh, CEO is part of this one. It's uh, relatively new compared to some of the bigger ones and the gems have been growing up at a very good speed as well. So this is also going to be 
uh, a big game. And then let's lastly just go into the last application as this emulator doesn't seem to be the best one to favor, uh, you know, feature these applications apparently. So we have Ton Station. I'm trying to remember right now which gaming. There was some, you know, this is actually farm. This is, yeah, Sidus and Superverse are behind this. And yes, I should have probably included this on the list as it is very close to, well, ending. 10 days left, but we did talk about it earlier. And oh yeah, there's also this Moonbix thing, which is by Binance, but that is very region blocked. So I was not able to open. I believe it's also blocked in the Americas. So basically everybody's banned from using it. And the Town Station app is kind of bullish because they're doing kind of like this ecosystem. So as you can see, there's a launcher, there's like games inside. Um, there's a pretty uh, big roadmap of things like they're going to be launching games on their app store. They're going to be doing an NFT collection, auto farms, squad leaderboards, custom, uh, customization. So this is something I, I really recommend doing because it has big partners and their concept is this, you know, having an application like a platform is you know, kind of novel idea right now and in ton that is. So you always kind of want to bet on these, you know, big play horses, so to speak. But that kind of wraps up my video. I'm not going to make it any longer. I'm going to be keeping up doing these um, Telegram videos and showing you the latest big drops, which are interesting and have potential to make money. I always say that um, you don't want to do many of them at the same time, like allocate like one hour of day to basically the daily quests and get two phones or get two monitors or whatever to basically farm out the most efficient way possible because that's really the strategy. You get the, the drops alone. If you're just putting all the time just one application and you get 20 bucks or something, that's not obviously going to make you a millionaire. But if you're farming many applications at the same time, the money starts to pile up pretty nicely. And if you can like really exit and enter at the right points of the token, it's going to be helping you out quite a lot. But thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video when it will be dropping out.